Do not dwell in the past. Do not dream of the future. Concentrate the mind on the present moment. Do you ever experience the frustration of feeling undervalued and overlooked despite putting in significant effort? It's a common sentiment, working hard yet feeling like a mere shadow within your own skin. You may long for recognition, but it seems like begging for acknowledgement falls on deaf ears. But envision a different narrative for yourself. Picture entering a room and sensing the atmosphere shift, commanding respect effortlessly. Your contributions are immediately acknowledged, and people actively seek your opinions. Your presence is impactful and your attention is consistently sought after. This isn't just wishful thinking. It's the outcome of mastering ancient arts rooted in the teachings of Buddhism. Today, you're about to explore seven powerful psychological strategies deeply influenced by Buddhist wisdom. These strategies will not only help you gain the recognition you deserve, but also strengthen your inner fortitude. Remember, these approaches go beyond mere techniques. They're part of a transformative process, a shift in mindset that begins with how you perceive yourself and radiates outward. This isn't about capturing a fleeting moment of attention. It's about cultivating a powerful presence that endures, leaving a lasting impact well beyond your initial interaction. Now let's delve into these strategies and embark on a journey of personal and professional growth. Number one, embracing the profound wisdom of rarity informed. This guiding principle encapsulates a deep understanding that scarcity often amplifies perceived value. Rather than an approach of withdrawal or inaccessibility, it encourages the application of mindfulness and purposeful engagement to naturally limit one's availability. Drawing inspiration from Buddhist principles, this concept emphasizes the transformative power of controlled availability. By engaging in pursuits that not only stimulate the mind but also nurture the soul, individuals are prompted to allocate their time and energy deliberately. This intentional approach isn't about creating distance or aloofness, Rather, it is a conscious decision to channel efforts into endeavors that hold personal significance and align with the compassionate and interconnected philosophy of Buddhism. In contrast to a ubiquitous and readily available presence, there exists a risk of blending into the background, where one can be easily overlooked or taken for granted. The alternative, as proposed by this principle, involves selective participation in activities and relationships that resonate with the principles of Buddhism thereby becoming a focal point and garnering the attention and respect of those within one's sphere. It is crucial to underscore that this strategic approach isn't centered on cultivating an air of mystery for its own sake, nor does it advocate for isolation. Rather, it is an intentional choice to engage in activities and relationships rooted in the values and objectives of Buddhism. This deliberate alignment with principles such as compassion, mindfulness, and interconnectedness not only brings a more profound and impactful presence to each interaction, but also serves as a testament to an individual's deep understanding of the value of their time and contributions. In essence, this strategy, enriched by the teachings of Buddhism, serves as a catalyst for genuine recognition and respect in interpersonal dynamics, emphasizing the significance of purposeful engagement and mindful presence in the pursuit of a more meaningful and harmonious existence. Number two, embracing authenticity in alignment with inner wisdom. This strategy champions the profound power of authenticity, drawing inspiration from the timeless wisdom of various philosophies, including elements of Buddhist teachings. At its core, it emphasizes the importance of wholeheartedly engaging in activities that resonate with your true self. This echoes the universal call to mindfulness and self-awareness, urging individuals to align their actions with their genuine nature. Embracing authenticity becomes a transformative journey, not just for oneself, but for those who witness the genuine expression of one's true self. This principle encourages individuals to navigate life's intricate tapestry by being true to their unique essence. In doing so, they become beacons of inspiration, embodying the idea that sincerity and authenticity hold immense value. This approach underscores the idea that authenticity is a catalyst for personal growth and meaningful connections. It encourages individuals to define their narratives in alignment with their true selves, fostering an environment where everyone is free to express themselves authentically. In this way, relationships deepen, rooted in mutual respect and support, 
creating a space where each person contributes to the collective journey. Moreover, authenticity serves as a bridge connecting individuals through shared values and passions. It naturally draws others toward the unique journey of self-discovery, inspiring a collective movement towards embracing sincerity and genuineness. This strategy invites individuals to lead with authenticity, recognizing that in doing so, they not only define their own narratives, but also contribute to a broader narrative of shared humanity, where the power of being true to oneself inspires others to embark on their authentic journeys. Number three, embracing the practice of stepping back. Embracing the practice of stepping back encapsulates the essence of self-respect and prioritization of one's well-being, echoing the core principles of Buddhism. Within the Buddhist framework, stepping back is not a mere endorsement of impulsive decisions, but a call to cultivate a mindful and thoughtful approach. It encourages individuals to assess whether a given situation or relationship resonates with their inner values and contributes positively to their spiritual and emotional growth. This practice is a manifestation of inner strength and conviction in valuing oneself, reflecting the notion of recognizing the inherent worth and Buddha nature within. Knowing when to step back becomes a powerful declaration of one's worth, a deliberate choice to refrain from being tethered to any singular outcome. The strategy of stepping back is akin to reclaiming agency over one's life. It involves acknowledging that time, energy, and emotional investments are precious resources that should be directed toward endeavors aligned with one's spiritual values and overarching life goals. Moreover, Recognizing the power to step back often initiates a transformative shift in interpersonal dynamics. Others may witness this mindful withdrawal and in turn, reevaluate their own actions and priorities. It is not a manipulative game, but a practice rooted in honoring one's well-being and intrinsic self-worth, echoing the Buddhist principle of compassionate detachment. By incorporating the teachings of Buddhism, the practice of stepping back becomes a spiritual journey, a path towards self-discovery, enlightenment, and a harmonious alignment with the interconnected nature of all beings. Number four, the art of silence. Exploring the intricacies of the art of silence. Within the framework of Buddhist philosophy, we uncover a strategy that resonates with profound implications for mindful living. This approach emphasizes the significance of deliberate communication recognizing the potency that lies in withholding immediate contact or conversation initiation. In the spirit of Buddhism, this practice isn't about creating distance or an air of unapproachability. Rather, it's a nuanced understanding of the power inherent in intentional pauses. From a Buddhist perspective, silence becomes a conduit for reflection, both for the individual practicing it and for those engaged in the exchange. It extends beyond a mere absence of words, it becomes a canvas upon which deeper understanding and connection can unfold. The art of silence, when aligned with Buddhist principles, becomes a manifestation of self-assuredness and a demonstration of possessing one's space and time. It signifies a departure from the incessant need for constant chatter, showcasing an authentic appreciation for communication that is both meaningful and purposeful. In weaving Buddhism into the fabric of this strategy, there emerges an encouragement for the cultivation of intentional conversations. The individual is prompted to consider not only the content, but also the timing of their communication, ensuring that each interaction is imbued with profound weight and significance. Embracing silence as a tool for deeper understanding aligns with the tenets of mindfulness, fostering authentic connections and genuine interactions. Yet beyond the specific philosophical underpinnings, this approach to silence transcends cultural and spiritual boundaries. It beckons individuals to reflect on their own communication patterns, urging them to create spaces for reflection and connection. It advocates for a balance between being approachable and respecting personal boundaries. In doing so, this strategy paves the way for more meaningful connections and purposeful interactions in a world often characterized by incessant noise and fleeting exchanges. By adopting the art of silence, individuals not only foster authenticity in their connections, but also contribute to a broader cultural shift towards more deliberate and profound communication. Number five, commanding your space with mindful authority. 
Incorporating the principles of mindfulness into the notion of commanding your space brings about a transformative approach. It invites you to navigate the intricacies of your environment with heightened awareness and an equilibrium rooted in self-understanding. Commanding your space in this context calls for assertiveness driven not by ego, but by a profound recognition of the value you bring. It's about expressing your insights with clarity, recognizing when to take the lead, and understanding that your contribution holds intrinsic worth. This mindful assertiveness isn't about overpowering others, but rather about fostering a harmonious coexistence. Drawing inspiration from Buddhist philosophy, this approach aligns with the idea of right action and compassionate engagement. It urges you to be the steward of your own presence, recognizing the interconnectedness of your actions with the broader tapestry of existence. In the Buddhist vision, commanding your space becomes a practice in skillful living. It's a mindful assertion that you are responsible for the energy you bring into every room, akin to the concept of karma. By consciously embodying your worth, you create an environment where others can recognize and appreciate your unique contributions. This practice extends to choosing environments and relationships that resonate with your values, echoing the Buddhist principle of cultivating a path aligned with one's true nature. It doesn't imply arrogance, but rather a conscious alignment with spaces that not only acknowledge your efforts, but also celebrate them, contributing to a collective elevation of energy and purpose. In essence, commanding your space becomes a dance between assertiveness and mindfulness, shaping a presence that inspires and influences authentically. Number six, create your own happiness. This particular approach revolves around the idea of forging your own happiness, drawing inspiration from the timeless wisdom found in Buddhism. It prompts a shift in perspective, acknowledging that lasting contentment is an internal state rather than a product of external circumstances or external validation. By embracing this notion, Individuals embark on a journey of self-discovery and appreciation, seeking joy in both the ordinary and extraordinary aspects of life. Incorporating a mindfulness-based approach, this strategy encourages individuals to identify and cherish the elements that genuinely bring joy, whether they are small daily victories, personal accomplishments, or moments of tranquil introspection. The process promotes an internal fulfillment that is not tethered to external variables. It invites individuals to find delight in the simple yet profound elements of their daily routines. Creating your own happiness within the framework of mindfulness doesn't advocate for isolation, but rather urges individuals to derive satisfaction from the stable and enduring elements of life that they can influence. This might involve appreciating the beauty in nature, taking pride in personal achievements, or finding contentment in moments of solitude and reflection. This mindful approach fosters a sense of self-reliance and resilience, enabling individuals to navigate the complexities of life with an unwavering inner compass. This resilience becomes a beacon, guiding one through life's ups and downs, unswayed by external opinions or fluctuations. Importantly, this approach doesn't negate the value of connections, but rather underscores the importance of finding joy in the stable, reliable aspects of life. By recognizing that happiness is an intimate and internal pursuit, individuals can radiate a positive and self-assured energy. This not only enhances their own well-being, but also draws others towards their uplifting presence. In essence, the strategy encourages the cultivation of a personal happiness that is both resilient and infectious, creating a ripple effect of positivity in the wider world. Number seven. Embrace the path of continuous growth and learning. In the Buddhist vision, life is perceived as an ongoing journey of spiritual and personal growth. Each experience, whether characterized by success or setback, is seen as a valuable opportunity for learning and evolution. Embracing continuous growth in the context of Buddhism involves a dedicated pursuit of wisdom, compassion, and enlightenment. In this context, individuals are encouraged to approach life with a mindset that actively seeks out new insights, skills, and transformative experiences. This may manifest through practices such as meditation, mindfulness, and contemplation. Additionally, individuals may delve into sacred texts, engage in philosophical discussions, or undertake inner journeys to deepen their understanding of themselves and the world around them. 
The commitment to continuous growth extends beyond the acquisition of worldly knowledge. It encompasses the cultivation of virtues such as patience, kindness, and empathy. Just as one would enrich their intellectual pursuits, individuals on this path seek to nurture qualities that contribute to their spiritual development and overall well-being. Incorporating Buddhist principles into the pursuit of continuous growth means not only expanding one's personal understanding but also enhancing the ability to contribute meaningfully to the collective journey of humanity. The emphasis is not only on self-improvement but also on fostering positive connections with others and the world. By embodying a growth mindset informed by Buddhist wisdom, individuals become sources of inspiration, motivating those around them to embark on their own paths of self-discovery and enlightenment. This dedication to continuous learning and development within the framework of Buddhism reflects a commitment to personal excellence and a profound recognition that there is always room for improvement on the path to spiritual awakening. In wrapping up these seven essential concepts designed to enhance your value and confidence, it's crucial to emphasize that these strategies are not centered around manipulation, but rather reflections of inner strength. You are the mastermind behind your worth, and by incorporating these principles, you portray yourself as an individual of substance who holds a high regard for their own well-being, refusing to settle for anything less. Striking a balance between kindness and self-respect, availability and self-importance, and investment in self-preservation defines the hallmark of a fulfilling life. As you embark on this journey, do so with mindfulness and integrity. Thank you for taking the time to engage with this video. If you found these concepts valuable, I invite you to express your support by liking, commenting, and subscribing to my channel. Your encouragement means a lot, and I look forward to continuing this journey of growth and self-discovery together.